Hey, it's Jason again. Now, um, today I want to talk about how do we use the custom audiences, right? Now, before I want to jump right into how to use custom audiences, right? I want to actually share with you one common way of people using custom audiences the wrong way. Now, one very important thing that a lot of people do, especially when you have a website, uh, I'm just giving a website for example, this could apply to other custom audiences. Like for example, when you have a website, you would like to, a lot of people like to tar- retarget people who have visited web- their website in the past longest time, up to 180 days. Now you have to think of this, you know, the moment you're actually doing retargeting using the custom audiences, you have to think. Yes, it may sound logical to retarget people who have visited your website up to six months ago because it gives you the volume. But what I'm actually trying to think here is, does the volume make sense? Put it this way. My, my, my ultimate question to you here is, what are you selling that requires six months to think, to consider whether they want to buy from you or not? So this is really the, one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people make. You have to always remember, when you go to 180 days though, for retargeting for your website visitors, so for example, or those people who visited your Facebook page up to 360 days, now the longest time may not give you the highest quality audience. Because you have to consider another thing, which is what we call the, the, the conversion window. What is the duration that people usually take to decide whether to buy from you or other store? So that's the very important thing that you have to consider when it comes to using custom audiences. So this is Jason, one tip a day about Facebook advertising and digital marketing. Remember to comment below if you have questions and uh, join my six-day challenge if you, if you want to learn with me. This is one tip. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.